Sorry, I, I lost my gummy. It's fucking important. I, anyway. lo I lost my gummy. <laughs> he Mommy. lost his gummy and his Rice Krispie treat. I lost my gummy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Hub 32, uh, your YouTube variety show. This is the Prime Show, uh, where every other week we sit down and we discuss a handful of recent news topics, uh, whether it be weird tech news, weird food news, cultural news, science news, you name it. We go after stories that you may have missed in the recent news. Um, after that, we will select a recent topic of our choice, and we will go into a deeper discussion about that. Um, today, as you see in the description, our main topic is going to be our favorite picks for 2016 movies. Um, but uh, we'll go ahead and jump into the checklist for news stories first. But with me today, as always, as usual, and back from vacation, Mr. The occasional host, the occasional Aaron host. Kirby. <laughs> I'm sorry to get about that, but we have Aaron Kirby here. Um, Yay. And then, Yay, I'm, yeah, I'm back, guys. Yeah. Back from VK. Acceptance. Uh, and then between the two of us is Mr. Anthony Romeo. How are you doing, Anthony? Uh, good. I feel like a ginger sandwich. We're right making now. a vegan sandwich. Oh yeah. <laughs> you need the tofu. Yeah, I'm the your... tempeh patty that David hates and smell and says smells like. Yeah, I told what, you not... stale bread. No more of your vegan with? shit in my house ever. <laughs> smells like disgusting bonsai trees. It. Yeah. Jumping right at no. Speaking no. of, <laughs> so first off, right off the bat here, um, I'm gonna talk about uh, an interesting topic. Um, Bob, yeah, Bob, uh, I love Bob. Uh, so the rapper Bob um, decided to jump on Twitter and make a total fool of himself. Um, the exact tweet that he uh, he sent out. Let me pull it up here one second. That should have been something you already had up. I did have up, and then I hit a button, and it went away. Oh, okay. Um, so here we go. So his exact quote uh, was, A lot of people are turned off by the phrase, flat earth. But there's no way you can see all the evidence and not know. Grow up. You can uh, regurgitate force-fed information all day. Still doesn't change physics. Um, which is just great. Um, so he believes the Earth is flat. Yeah. Uh, so Neil deGrasse Tyson, a um, a very famous physicist. If you don't know who yeah, he is, exactly. come on. Yeah, you should. He, he was he's even on kind the Big Bang Theory like three times. He was on Stargate Atlantis. Was really yeah, good. he's on a bunch of stuff now. Yeah. Um, you know, we got a badass over here. That meme. Got a badass. Yeah, because he uh, has one. So he came back at him. Um, with a couple tweets. Uh, so let's see here. So there was a tweeter war? There was a tweeter war. Wow. Uh, so his first response back to him. Tweet. Um, <laughs> he says, uh, after the singer's tweet went viral, this is off of Entertainment Weekly. Uh, he says, after the singer's tweet went viral, none other than Tyson came along to do exactly the kind of thing he should be doing, correcting celebrity misconceptions. Earth's curve indeed blocks 150, not 170, feet of Manhattan. But most buildings in Midtown are way taller than that. Tyson wrote to B.O.B. on Twitter, Polaris is gone by 1.5 degrees south lat lat latitude. You've never seen the south of Earth's equator, or so you've never looked up. So it just went on as a battle Ooh, back and forth. He got all science yeah. on him. Wow. Um, so apparently B.O.B. has done two hour long videos on his YouTube channel talking about how he thinks the Earth is flat and all these science, science Wait, rules. Wait, I, I thought if I just kept walking out of my front door, I would eventually fall off the earth. Uh, um, but he's done really long videos on his YouTube channel to talk about how he thinks the earth is flat. Um, so I guess there's no going back now for him. Yeah, it's like, you know, someone could do two hours of how they think wolves can digest things in 30 minutes, but it's just at the end of the dude, shut up. No, you're, you're wrong. There's been many talks about people, like, circumnavigating <laughs> yeah, the, the just... world on with planes and boats, you know. Yeah, but just... What what are they doing? Yeah. They're just going from one edge of the world to the other edge of the world and then falling off promptly. Yeah, just like, like all the there's like a giant the waterfall at the end of the world where every you know, like the oceans just empty out into nothingness. Yeah, if you uh, talk about it for two hours, it doesn't make it true. It um, looks like the bridge from Thor. Yeah, <laughs> the rainbow that Loki bridge. falls into. Hold on, he falls into a black hole, doesn't he? In space, and then it like 
He's like, father, and then he lives somehow in somehow the vacuum of like, space. He gets... Jesus, neighbors. He okay. gets uh, transported to Earth somehow, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, he he, he ended the uh, the tweet war by, by being a little nicer here. He goes, uh, dude, to be clear... Uh, being five centuries regressed in your reasoning doesn't mean we all can't still enjoy your music. So, um, it's mad. He was just saying, <laughs> dude, you're fucking crazy. Doesn't mean your music isn't. Yeah. The earth is magic, magic. Yeah, exagic. 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 So, up next, we have um, an article from Forbes. Um, they actually got together um, with, uh, with another team of guys to figure out. Um, uh, but to figure out the exact uh, cost of a Star Destroyer. So if we were to build a Star Destroyer right now, Anthony, back away from the mic. Uh, if we were to build a Star Destroyer right now, um, how much realistically would that cost us with current uh, technology? <laughs> so the rules were um, use only currently known technologies, no hyperdrives, tractor beams, force fields, shields, artificial gravity generators, etc., um, no need for super thick hull protection or fancy exotic materials, and it needs to get to proper space, i.e. escape Earth's gravity well and not be stuck in low orbit. Again, this is from Forbes. Uh, link will be in the description. Um, so they go into some pretty in-depth math. Uh, I won't go into that now. Again, you can check the article out. Uh, link's in the description. Nice. But the total came nice. out to... Um, total cost of the, of the Star Destroyer just to build the parts on Earth would cost $636 billion uh, to build. Then, to actually get it all off Earth and get it to Mars, um, it would cost $44.4 trillion. So, we just use $636 billion to build it, and then we just leave it on Earth. Yeah, we just have like a badass like, Turn it to a hotel or something. Yeah. Or a, uh, yeah, a hotel or giant zip line thing or something but i'm surprised would, china hasn't built that already yeah, is like yeah. but what would we even use as like a propulsion because it says space uh space farts um let me see if i can find it here space like no savvy. you don't need as much propulsion in space because i know but still like would we just no, be using got, a jet turbine you gotta get it the main part is having enough propulsion to get it out of the atmosphere that's oh, where right. most of the energy is spent right um I'm talking about once it's in space. You're talking about getting it into space? Yeah, so, like, oh. would it just be a shuttle, or would it have propulsion? Because I was thinking, if they got just one nuclear reactor, that could that could basically well, right power now, them. all they're doing is hydrogen and oxygen and lighting that shit on fire. Well, yeah, I'm talking <laughs> about a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> so you just get a big tank of oxygen and a big tank of hydrogen, light that shit on fire. Yeah, they go into this pretty. Fuck, um... Get a giant spring, Aaron. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> giant trampoline. Yeah, just throw that bitch. We on get there. the Hulk to pick it up and just bounce it on the trampoline. No, we get two shuttles <laughs> and they just double jump so it gets dangerous, man. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you do that, just yeah, one after the other, and yeah. you get higher. Um, Good times. Kentucky go, memories. Kentucky. Oh, all right. Kentucky. Um, I have family out there. Uh, so they go pretty in depth about how oh, they no. how they would think they're going to actually get the ship out of uh, Earth's orbit. Uh -huh. um, they also go into in depth on how they would recreate the lasers. Um, pew, on the actual pew. ship. So one of the lasers was the, was the Athena laser, <gasps> which is, uh, well, that's our closest version to their turbo laser turrets. Um, the Athena laser is the closest thing that exists right now, and it will be rated to 60 kilowatts at a cost of $25 million for a demonstrator. Wow. Which is enough to disable a car. Wow. Um, so that's pretty nice. Uh, so again, you can check this out. It's actually a really interesting article. They go pretty in depth with exact numbers, statistics on how much everything would weigh. So to do and... it, really, we wouldn't have like we would just have to have everybody donate everything and just forget about making money and costs. Yeah, and everything. exactly. And just be like just build just it, build it again. China. You know how many freaking amusement parks and like resorts thing and stuff like that that China has built because they thought it would make a shitload of money and they're just empty right now and abandoned don't. parts of China. I don't. A ridiculous how many? amount. Oh, okay. Shit ton. Anyway. Is that on the checklist? Yeah. No. No. Future top. <laughs> You're up next. All right. <clears throat> next thing on this the is, checklist. This is my favorite, actually, out of all the articles. Go ahead, Aaron. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let me get to it then. Um, this is from CBS News. 
Uh, oh. And it's actually uh, the Ben and Jerry's. CVS fa- or C- CBS? CBS. Okay, I was like, I was like CBS did I go, Pharmacy. Did I say yeah, the CBS? pharmacy. I thought you said CVS. I'm pretty sure That's I said news? CBS. News, okay. but okay. Anyway, uh, Ben and Jerry's founders make a flavor for Bernie Sanders, and they call it Bernie's Yearning, which is hilarious. <laughs> Bernie's Yearning. Huh. Um, yeah. And the tagline is, nothing is so unstoppable as a flavor whose time has finally come. And uh, the Ben and Jerry's guys, they're from Vermont, and that's where uh, Bernie Sanders is a senator from. Um, they've been huge supporters of him for many years and everything. Um, but it says, this is uh, the actual flavoring of the ice cream, is it says, here's how the flavor is described on the carton. The entire top of this pint is covered with a thick disc of solid chocolate. Underneath is plain mint ice cream. The chocolate disc represents the huge majority of economic gains that have gone to the top 1% since the end of this recession. <laughs> Beneath it is the rest of us. And then uh... my personal favorite on this part of it is it actually tells you how to eat it and so it says there's also eating instructions uh step one take back of spoon and whack huge chocolate discs into lots of pieces two let the ice cream soften up a bit and mix the pieces around and there you have it bernie's yearning and then three is dig in and share it with your fellow americans so we're spreading the chocolate wealth around it it would be kind of funny if they tried to like just do the illegal route and like next step go vote for bernie sanders and immediately got shut down and like no there's no, an no, early voting pin at the bottom of the ice yeah, cream exactly <laughs> well, what, and it's got a picture of bernie sanders on it obviously and right yeah. below his picture it says open joyfully political revolution inside oh which i just love that they take an ice cream and turn it into a political oh. statement basically i have so many issues with so this you right can now. literally make just about anything these days into a political statement i'm gonna have one when they make it i'm gonna cheat it's already out right well, now I'm isn't sure, it i think it's already out yeah really well, I, or maybe i don't Ooh. know i think if they said it was already out or maybe it's just a cons- uh i wonder if it's a nationwide thing or if it's like select parts of the country they're in talks about creating our uh, of, of prospecting this but that's oh, the one okay. that they've settled on gotcha. so it's not out yet but that's the one that they've settled on and so if they do make it i think that would be pretty freaking yeah, hilarious i'm having one if that it's one percent and the rest of us and all this other exactly. stuff but basically it just sounds like it's just chocolate mint ice cream uh next up your guys's favorite one what? Uh, favorite what? Because Anthony said, oh, this one's my favorite, and then you read the ice cream one, not his actual favorite. So, Bonsai. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> so There um, you are. Good job. <laughs> so, my article is, well, one, these floating bonsai trees will make your coworkers think your desk is magic. That's the magic. title of the um, article. From and uh, Bustle? Bustle? Bustle.com. Bustle.com? Bustle? Yeah, Bustle. Something like that. Bustle News. B-U-S-T-L-E. And, and the picture is really cool. It actually looks like it's floating. but Because um, it actually is yeah, floating. It is. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is floating. <laughs> we watched the video and watched them spin. Yeah, exactly. So it, it actually is floating. is floating. It's not magic, though. Yeah, it's not magic. It's, it's magnets, actually. Two very strong magnets that... Oh, stupid ads for... Wait, notes. I thought magnets were magic. I listen to a lot of ICP. Sorry. It's from Bustle News, by the well, way. Well, they're, they're eggs of yeah, we Cthulhu. Said that. Oh. Yeah, I, God damn it. Yeah, I gotta cover them. my bases. Um, the designers over at the Hashinu team in Japan have named their creation Air Bonsai. The bottom half of the plant is the energy base, and the top is the little star, or the floating ball. Each half consists of a magnet that enforces an equal but opposite resistance to the other. Therefore, it gives the illusion that the top half of the tree is actually floating in the air. See, they even said illusion, bitch. Whatever. <laughs> a levitating tree? Now that's zen. Anyway. I thought it was Into the cool. mic. I was reading. <laughs> and your other interesting <laughs> factoid about bonsai? Well. Oh, oh uh, they're about $200 if you're planning on. Oh, yeah. I didn't see the price. Uh, on trying to buy one of these. You can And you can go to Kickstarter <clears throat> and help their campaign, which you really don't need to because they said they really only needed eight, uh, $80,000. And they've already um, raised just under 190000 <laughs> So unless you really think they got to hit $190,000 or maybe they give you a bonsai <laughs> when they finally make all these if things. If you support them, they should, they should give you um, a bonsai. They should. So... 
you uh, you don't really need to go to Kickstarter. It's cool though because they do like they, they we'll put a link to the video in the description as well. But they actually they put them on the little bases and they can actually spin the trees. Yeah, it's, stay, it's really cool. They, they had stay a full, spinning. They had a four minute video of basically just them spinning trees. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, going off of that, um, you can actually even choose whichever plant you want for your desk too. Because I just learned that any shrub, bush, or tree can be turned into uh, a bonsai. Uh, anyway. anyway, so we're done with uh, bonsais yeah. now. We're done yeah. with the checklist. So that's the end, that's the end of the checklist. That went a little bit longer than I wanted. Mine was cooler. Uh, so, all right, so we'll get into our main topic now. Uh, we're going to talk about our uh, our favorite movie trailers for 2016, what movies we are really look at, looking forward to seeing for this year. And there's a shit ton of movies I didn't even know were coming out yeah. that we just went over, uh, went over today, actually. It's uh, a lot of sequels, a ton of sequels, including a ton of... Uh, comic book related movies, sci-fi movies, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, Re, uh, remakes, reboots. So, if you want to, just go ahead and just, you got a list up there, right? Just go ahead and run down it. I think we just run down the list there rapid. A, well, it's a ton of different movies. I okay. mean, it goes by every week that comes out. So, I mean, just a few. Skip shitty movies we've never heard of. <laughs> right. <You're>, so, what? <laughs> or I'll go down mine, because mine's more That's like. That's judgmental. Well, yeah. So I mean, there's um, there's everything from like Kung Fu Panda three, uh, Fifty Shades of Black, um, Deadpool, Pride okay. and Prejudice and Zombies. Let's stop like there because we're gonna go buy them and just see if we're actually gonna watch them. Okay, so you just want to go through and be like, yeah, hey, I want to hey. go. Th- yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so, all right. So Fifty Shades of Black. Didn't even know it was out until Anthony told me today. It does look pretty funny. I think it, I would it's actually It's a parody film, it. so you it's know a film, you either yeah. yeah, you either like it or you don't. Didn't care yeah. enough to watch Fifty Shades of Grey, don't care about parody films. I'm passing. Anthony. Um I will watch it at some time. I probably won't go pay money to watch it because I mean <laughs> No no no, and that's not saying that they're bad. It's just parody movies get old because they make so many of the same jokes. Not saying right. that they're not funny, but it's just to me They're not funny. <laughs> it's yeah, it's yeah. just getting old. All right, but, we'll you know. skip. We'll skip the uh, the panda one because nobody. That's a, no, no one's watching Kung Fu Panda. I'm, I'll just take like the big ones. That's the like the main movie that's coming out each week. So yeah. Pride, Prejudice, I can't Pride and Prejudice wait and for Zombies. This. Yes, I can't wait for it because I tried reading the book and I got about four or five chapters in and I just like completely lost interest. I didn't read the that book at all, but I read. Excuse me, Abe Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, and I watched the movie. I saw the movie on that one, but I didn't read the book. It was, it was good. I've never seen Pride and Prejudice or... Again, with the gummies. Why are you eating mine? Um, Why do you keep break, ba- breaking our rhythm? Just I know, it exactly. <laughs> like, Just let it go. Let it go. What so, gummies are you talking about? So, um, I've never read a Pride, Preju- Pride and Prejudice book or a Pride and Prejudice with zombies. I've never read either of those. So, mm-hmm. But bought, the movie looks interesting. Yeah, I bought the, that one and I bought Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters and I never even started that one. <laughs> but anyway, Deadpool? Um, Definitely seeing that one. Yeah, I think Ryan Reynolds is doing a good job as like playing a comical Deadpool. I, I, like think, he's, I think he's going to do a good job too, but I think the trailers are giving way possibly some of the best moments of the movie i have a feeling it's going to be one of those action movies where i get to it and it's going to be all the good jokes were in the trailers all the best action scenes were in the trailer especially the be. recent one the the red band or green band trailer we just yeah. we just watched the third i think it's the third one they put out yeah i think so um gave away a lot of new stuff that wasn't in the other trailers and i'm like just stop well so, uh, there was stop a lot stuff. from the red band that was in the green band but anyway uh so that's a definite for me mm. race which is the... Uh, I, I did not see that trailer, actually. You didn't see the race? No, because I said don't skip oh, it, and then David right. skips we, it. That's right. Because he it. said, and I quote, <laughs> hey, I hate black people. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, just kidding. Did he, not. He did not say I, I that. wasn't there for that part. When did he say that? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't like freaking sports movies. Oh, where... I thought he was going to say black people. No. <laughs> I, I don't care for black people. No. I just no. don't like sports movies where they're like, we just have to talk about so-and-so was the first person to do so-and-so in sports. I'm like, I couldn't care less. I'm in for it. I don't. I, the last sports movie I gave two shits about was Green Mile, and that will probably be the last one. That's not a Green Mile. Yeah, that's not a sports movie. The Green Mile is Michael <laughs> Clark football? Duncan getting taken to the. <laughs> and, no, and sorry. <laughs> no. 
That is not a No. no. <laughs> I think you mean the longest mile. Thank you. Oh Sorry. <laughs> He didn't wet the sponge. <laughs> wow. Uh, Moving uh, right along from that, because uh, we're not going to get any more uh, trouble on that one. Oh, my God. I, just, I meant longest mile. God, God's longest of, mile is right, good. Next one, Gods of Egypt. <laughs> gods of Egypt, I'm going to see. Probably most Maybe. racist movie of the year, apparently, because there's it no Egyptian people It did seem very whitewashed. Yeah, there wasn't very many people of color in Egypt, apparently. Yeah. I mean, they weren't, like, they're not very dark-skinned, but they're, they're like, mocha-colored. What? They are in Egypt. I mean, they're not. They're not like full on dark. Well, some of them were. I mean, there's some like point, lighter skin. Point is, they got the is, whitest they guys. Got, they like, got like everybody find. from yeah, England exactly. and took them to Egypt, and <laughs> were like, "Yeah, you're you're dark." Sure. And, and we're not exaggerating that. Literally, the darkest person in there is Sir. Uh, uh, what's his name? Ben no, Kingsley. Well, no, Sir Ger- Ben Kingsley. Um, yeah. What's well, got Gerard Butler? Is in Ben Kingsley? Did you say Ben Kingsley? No, not in this one. And he's oh, okay. British. He was in so. Prince of Persia, and he was the darkest one in Prince yeah, of Persia. Yeah, exactly. That's what you're saying. Okay. Um, Zootopia. That's the animated movie. Nope. That, Pass. It kind it's a kids of looks, movie. It looks kind of funny, actually. Uh, I'm yeah. not going to pay full price for it, but I might, like, when it goes to the cheap theater or something, take a glance at it. It kind of looked funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> I still can't believe The Divergent series. Uh, the Continue. next one. <laughs> The new, uh, the next uh, Divergent series. I'll watch that. Love this. Love that. I haven't I read the books. I love hate the it. I didn't read the books. I it's didn't... a shittier version of, of the um, Hunger, Hunger Games, Games trilogy. And I it's saw just, the uh, first movie. I didn't see the second or third or whatever. And it is I hate it, is now. too. They're all like, oh, the organization against the unique girl who I falls probably, in love with her protector yeah, guy. I'm probably just, not going to see it. Uh, I don't know. It makes Shailen me want to vomit. hot. Other than that, I couldn't really care less. I want to maybe watch the Scorch Trials just because David said the zombies are kind of scary in it. Mm. This Next one, flare zombies. Batman v Superman. Flare zombies? Yeah, the flare virus or whatever. Didn't weren't you telling me about that? What in no. the Scorch Trials? Obviously not. So let's move on. Anyway, no. yeah. Batman. Oh yeah. Okay, Wait, that's yes. the Maze Runner. Batman v Superman. Yeah, it was Maze Runner. Okay, Scorch okay never yeah, yeah. mind. Anyway, Wrong continue. Series. Batman vs Superman. Batman v Superman. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Of so, course. I just I hate the Batman because he's like he looks like a chode. He's shorter and chunkier, and it looks like a fat guy in a Batman suit. I'm sorry. You're a fat guy in a bag suit. I, I don't have I problems, am, so. compared to Batman, I am a fat guy in a bag suit. Yeah, well, bad suit. Bag you suit? Said, yeah, he said bag suit. That's why I said it. It's a it. burlap bag with a Batman logo on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm the Bat Ghost. But, uh, no, I'll see it. I'm definitely down for that. I'm hoping they do it really well so it brings in... Where they can do the Justice League. Wonder well, they they brought in they brought in one <laughs> they brought in Wonder Woman <laughs> and uh, there's like some magic revolved around that apparently. Apparently, well, yeah, Aquaman that's why. was in the first uh, Superman of uh, the reboot. He was when the I guess it was like when they're out on the on the oil rig or whatever and it's exploding or whatever. You can see like a shadow in the water, and they say that was Aquaman. Oh my god. Oh, whatever. Okay, uh, that's well, no, a stretch. I mean, it's actually like a black... It's not like just like a natural shadow. It was obviously something put there. I don't know. I read an article a while back on that that said Aquaman was in the I haven't one. even seen it. I haven't either. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> I just saw Ant-Man. Good fucking movie. Mm. Oh, my God. It was. Anyway. Uh, Jungle Book? The live-action Jungle Such Book? Such terrible That science. shouldn't be live-action, period. No. That's creepy. It and, me out. and the gorilla... Isn't he like at least a neutral character in the animated one? And this one, he's a giant eighty foot enemy that's like trying to kill the kid. No, well, it's not yeah. a gorilla. It's a, an orangutan. A, sorry, orangutan, yeah. yeah. Is he trying to kill the kid? Yeah, he was trying to yeah. smash him in the temple and stuff. Well, oh. he they they allude to that even in the in the cartoon one a little bit. He was evil. That yeah, he was sort of evil. He's the Monkey King. Um, but in the actual books and stuff which is horrible um 
like everything is trying to kill the boy basically and then it like the village all dies or something i don't oh, remember now but like wow. basically everybody dies and everything's evil and trying to kill this boy Welcome they're giving to disney. Disney. disney goes nah screw it make everything happy sing a song no look for the bare necessities i'm waiting yeah. i'm waiting for disney to do their version of like world war Two, <laughs> and they make it in some really jolly sing-along thing and none of that all happened Just... they did it's called frozen <laughs> oh <laughs> Oh. Let it go. Let it go. Oh. <laughs> They're talking about the Holocaust. So like, I'm let probably, it go. I'm probably not going to see that one unless it, like I rent it from Redbox or something. Yeah. Um, The Huntsman, Winter something. No. It, Looks interesting. Okay. No. Okay, no. They did one giant step forward in this movie, though. Christian Stewart's side project. Christian no. Stewart is not in this one. Really? She is gone. <sighs> they stuck with Thor. Okay. Uh, and they got rid of the bitch that can't act. That just stares and is like, I'm a witch or I'm a... Oh, the queen? No, no, she's that bad. Which one's... Who's Kristen Stewart, remember? Kristen Stewart is the one, the chick from Twilight. Oh, Dumbass. I love Kristen Stewart. She's hot. I hate... Oh, who cares? Yeah, she's care. Okay, first off, she's not that good looking. She's hot. She's okay. She's hot. Second, she can't act her way out of a fucking wet paper bag. You could probably lick your way out of a wet paper bag, and she exactly, and she can't even do that. What the fuck Basically does that have to do with skills. anything? <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, tongue I skills be, like from the Green um, Mile. Either way, I'm going to be passing on this one probably. Anyway, this it's mostly like a CGI type thing. They're like, look at all the pretty stuff we can make. So, Captain America: Civil War. Uh, yes. It's going to be a resounding yes. A sure resounding yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. probably see it in a couple times. I will. Yeah. I, mean, I will just say one thing. The superhero market is going to get oversaturated. Yeah. They mm-hmm. have too many movies coming Eventually. out. It's going to get oversaturated. Now, these two movies, I think, for this week, are going to be fighting each other very hard. Neighbors 2, The Sorority. Oh, God. And Angry Birds. That's uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, neighbors. The first Neighbors was okay. It was kind of funny. This one, it's going to be women instead of men. It's going to be a sorority house instead of a fraternity house. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, <laughs> it does have some chicks walking around in bikinis, which I'm down with. So I'll probably end up seeing it because it'll probably be good for a few laughs. I personally couldn't care less. Uh, I'm not going to spend full price on it. Again, probably like another cheap theater or a red box or something, but definitely I'll probably check that out. Eh, okay. eh. Again, red box. Like, okay. Mm. Uh, now, these two, these come out on the same week, and I'm interested in both of these, which is X Men Apocalypse and Alice Through the Looking Glass. Yes. Like I said, it's a, it, 2016 seems to be the sequels year again. Yeah. X Men Apocalypse looks really good. Definitely play full price well, on that. This is like the rebooting. Decade. Well, it's the it's the different timelined one now. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's so, so it's still got Jennifer Lawrence and all the other guys. Yeah. That's also the only hot. one I remember. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence also hot. Yeah, um, but no, it's yeah, it's the, it's the Days of Future Past cast. Yeah, with every with all the other. Alice through the Looking Glass. I'm definitely gonna want to see that. Uh, the original one was really good. So original that's, was good. I think they'll do it again. The new, the new Alice in Wonderland with Johnny Depp was also really good. So yeah. I'll definitely see Luke through Looking Gas. Are they keeping the same actress? Same actresses. Or is Johnny Depp going to be in this again? All women? Yeah, they're all back. Okay, cool. Definitely they got gonna Hell of a Mata Carter. They got the Helen de Carter. Maya, whatever her name Angela. is. They got... Moving on. <laughs> uh, Howard. Doug Howard Stop makes it. a guest Teenage appearance. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows. Gross, no. Michael Bay film. I was a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan when I was a kid. And the then cartoon. you watched the Michael Bay movie and, and you then hated it. I don't know what the hell happened to them. They got like left in the microwave too long or something. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're like these gross grotesque looking things. Um, they got plastic surgery. They have noses now. See, I saw the I saw the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, with all the, like rose colored glasses and like glee of a childhood boy, and I was like, "Yeah, this is gonna be awesome!" And then I went, "What the hell happened?" <laughs> About halfway through, so Michael Bay, <laughs> I probably yeah, Michael Bay happened, so I probably won't be seeing that one. But Calabunga, you're gonna ruin your childhood. Probably a red box, a red box thing again. Uh, Warcraft, and now you see me too. I uh, never saw Now You See Me to begin yeah, with. And the first one was okay. It was it was kind of like a ooh twist at the end type stuff. It ooh, was okay. Twisted, like Jesse Eisenberg was in it. 
Inception, but it made but, sense. Kind uh, of. Warcraft, I'll probably see that. Yeah, Warcraft. I, I played Warcraft way back in the day. I haven't played any, but it looks interesting because I always thought the trailers looked so much cooler than. Well, we had um, six. The actual gameplay. Was. I think it was sixth grade. Sixth grade computer class, and they made the mistake of putting Warcraft, installing Warcraft on all of our computers. How did oh, you wow. make that mistake? The teacher did. How? Oh, do you have it installed on his computer? He, no, and he, he installed. Well, it was networked, but I don't know. So if it, but it was installed basically on all of the computers. So <laughs> when we were supposed to be making PowerPoint presentations and ty- practicing our typing skills and all that shit, we were all playing basically Warcraft mm-hmm. for I, like an hour. I, I like to think that teacher was just really cool, and he just gave you guys. The Warcraft. only thing <laughs> is though, is that we weren't, al- we couldn't save our progress, so you always had to re- like restart every time. Oh yeah, that part oh, kind of sucked. But yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, but Warcraft looks good. I'm just a little concerned that it might there might be a lot of filler. Yeah, like um, uh, next one, Finding Dory. Won't be watching that one. That's a Pixar. I've heard movie. about that for like for the four years. Well, it's like, finally coming out June seventeenth, apparently. But I won't be seeing it. Ellen's a busy woman. She can't come in she to is. do voice acting. So Independence Day Resurgence. That one I'm kind of excited about. Yeah. Just be, it doesn't have Will Smith in it. I'm though. not. Yeah, you know why? They killed. He him dies off. off screen. Do you know how? Yeah, I watched the thing. It was a plane explosion. Oh he was God. He was doing a plane experiment and he dies. He survives the whole alien apocalypse and he dies. Although I'm thinking <laughs> they might experiment. use that as like a twist ending or something where it's like he didn't die. He was ejected he's out or something he's gonna come and back he shows up, yeah he shows up at the end of the movie with a giant ass blaster or something he's like fuck you aliens he's gonna show up as a ghost like in Star Wars <laughs> like to support him <laughs> he's just a force guy <laughs> that's funny uh, wrap it up real quick here though alright well there's Ghostbusters there's Star Ooh. Trek there's Born 5 Ice Age um, remakes like Peach Dragon Ben-Hur um Giant uh, advertisements like Max Steel, uh, <laughs> horror movies like Patient Zero, Bridget Jones's Baby, Jesus Christ. Don't know why that needs to be a thing. Okay, the Jesus Christ was not the tagline. That was me reacting to it because that would have been funny. <laughs> that Bridget been. Jones's Baby, Jesus Christ, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, <laughs> Gambit, Underworld Five. Wait, Gambit as in like yeah. yes, oh, the okay. new Jack Reacher movie? Have seen trailer um, for Gambit? Definitely Doctor Strange. That. Really? They're making um, another Jack Reacher. Fantastic Beasts wait, 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 wait. and Where to Find Them. Doctor Strange and Gambit are both out this year? Yes. The fuck? I don't know, didn't know um, about this. Bad okay. Santa 2. Doctor Strange um, has to come out in fucking 2017. There's no Rogue way it's coming out One, the, the Star Wars movie. Like a whole just slew of, of movies that will probably be making me go poor. Rogue One's coming out this year too? Mm-hmm. Rogue yeah. One. Okay, there's no... So no. there's, there's like a, Rogue One. It's the Star Wars movie. They're it's seriously, the, it's the pre, it's uh, it's a movie to just basically tide you over till they get to episode eight. I hope it's not coming out this year. That's just too soon. It's for at the Star very Wars. end of the year. Mm. So there's a bunch of summer movies that look really good. Um, That's movie overload right there, though. Yeah, for me. I'm probably I'm excited about like all the Star are the the superhero movies. I'll be watching all those. The Harry Potter, Fantastic Beasts one. I'll probably be watching. Yeah. Most excited about what are you excited about, Romeo? I guess superhero movies because I do want to see them get all tied together. But once they are nice and you know, because after the Civil War arc, which was a huge thing in the Marvel universe, it you know kind of dies down. They do their own thing, and then they're of course you know like oh in the future comics that are on the side. But I just want to see it get tied together. But again, it's just gonna get over. Well, yeah, they start their own movies again so that way they can bring in more adventures. Yeah, so basically the the superhero movies because they're gonna need a lot for the Infinity Wars. If they are going to do Doctor Strange this year, that's going to be my number one pick. Just be, by how they've been talking about it, that they're making it really yeah. dark. They're basically trying to get everybody that they can. See, and I don't know anything thrown about in. Oh, we skipped Doctor one. Strange. What? One of the biggest ones. What? Suicide Squad. Oh, duh. Yeah. yeah. We skipped no. Suicide Squad. Suicide yeah. Squad's we're, probably my top three yeah, as well. Yeah, we're definitely seeing I'm definitely seeing that. I'd one. say Gambit. I'd say Doctor Strange, Gambit, Suicide Squad. Yeah. Um, I really want to see Civil War. X-Men. Yeah. And then I Batman don't know anything Superman. about Doctor Strange. What are his like powers? He's I don't know too much he about him is either. A but he surgeon has surgeon who like something happens to his hands in an accident or something, and he goes to the ancient one um, to have him repaired. And then when he the well, it's supposed to be this Mongolian guy, I think, or this like really a, like Tibetan monk or something. I forget. Um, but they actually have cast the chick from. Um, the Narnia movies, the one that plays the White Witch, mm-hmm. she's gonna be the ancient one now. 
Uh, so there was a little bit of controversy on that. that they were like, they should have made an Asian guy play it, but whatever. Yeah. Um, but uh, they, the Ancient One heals his hands and it gives him the superpowers where he like does like little balls of He can also bend like space and time. Something. Yeah, yeah like, like wait, the biggest what? part. He can yeah, bend well, space and time really? and go through dimensions. Yeah, he's complete, super powerful. I don't know his complete history. But. It's like Aaron breaks out and he can make balls with his hands. Yeah, he can make like <laughs> energy balls and you know. Like hey, I'd be happy with stuff. that. If I can make energy balls, I'd be like, fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah. He's not, no. Um, okay. But no, he can bend space and time and go through dimensions. He's, like, crazy powerful. Anyway. Anyway, so we're going to wrap that up. This has been Episode 7 of The Prime Show. Again, you can catch us every other Friday here on Hub 32. Um, uh, all the links to the, all of our checklist topics, again, can be found in the description below. Please also let us know what your favorite movie trailer of 2016 is and what movie you're looking forward to seeing. Um, you can also catch us... You're supposed to be able to catch uh, us every Monday for the series table. I've been really bad on recording those right now. I'm supposed to have one up today where they were filming this, which is Monday. Haven't gotten it up yet. Really sorry. We'll work on getting those up. And we're going to start using regularly. spell check. Um, yeah, yeah. Also, my apology goes to Aaron when I, when I posted his um, AFC NFC uh, champ predictions and posted his UFC, UFC yeah. AFC. Completely different, yeah. but okay. And Aaron will, you know, be coming by more, and he'll be less of an I'll occasional, stop being an occasional host, host yeah. and more of a mainstay. Yeah, he'll yeah. be a mainstay. Um, but uh, so again, every Monday the series table we'll get back on track with that. Every Wednesday it'll be a random videos. Um, so haven't decided yet what we're doing for this Wednesday. We'll keep that keep that under wraps right now. I got a few things next Wednesday though. Um, is gonna be another debate the hate with um, uh, just put that in the end card. Yeah, we'll put in the we'll put it in the end card. So I figure out who I have next on my Wrap stack here. And, and uh, um, so anyway, um, when my phone goes off. Um, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for joining us. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We would very much appreciate it. We've got more videos coming, obviously, every week. And we'll see you guys again in two weeks. Um, we'll keep you updated on our Twitter page. Um, Jesus. Um, keep you updated on our Twitter page of what's going on with the Prime Cast, which is a podcast. We're going to get that up here soon. Thank you guys very and much. And wait, hang on. Stay tuned next week for my special, you know, debate. Semen. Is it vegan or cannibalism? And on that note, good night, everyone. My name's Recoom. It's a wrestler that talked like that. John Cena. Shut up. Security. <laughs>